Good evening, what's going on there folks? Earthmaster here on the live stream with a quick update video on this Tuesday evening, April 13th, 2021, about 7 p.m. West Coast time and a 3.0 earthquake. The latest quake out here on the Earthquake 3D globe in Texas area, right around the Pecos, Texas. This area has seen quite a bit of earthquake activity. Well, uh, about as far back as I can remember here, <laughs> even in the last year. No major movement, it just seems like they have a, a little bit of a uptick in earthquake activity on occasion there. Checking out the uh, latest information on the USGS map here. Let's see if I can get that pulled up, there we go. Shows that 3.0 earthquake out there around, looks like Toya, Texas, but it is within the vicinity of Pecos, Texas, right there. And as I mentioned, this area here, pretty, uh, pretty famous for having, uh, you know, some, some small earthquake activity on any given day. Today, just a three-pointer, at least according to the 2.5 and above. And uh, a little bit of smaller earthquake activity, it looks like, um, underneath that 2.5 threshold. You can see quite uh, quite a bit of uh, microquakes there popping off uh, underneath that uh, threshold right there. All within the vicinity of one another for the most part, about 10 miles or so. Um, in a little fashion here just uh kind of some interesting activity i was uh driving through new mexico and arizona um well last week and uh you know on my way home from storm chasing <clears throat> and you would be amazed at the amount of lava flows out here i took interstate 40 here and you could see uh, old lava flows I guess recent lava flows in, in uh, terms of, uh, of of the Earth's age, but a uh, bunch of volcanoes out there all throughout Arizona, New Mexico, and I'm sure in the parts of Texas as well. Most of them dormant, uh, but there is some that uh, is considered a future hazard um, throughout Arizona and New Mexico. So it's pretty interesting. I want to get back down there one of these days and check out that uh, when I have more time there to uh, do a little bit more uh, studying and whatnot. You know, go on a couple hikes there and. Uh, uh, do some digging around, see what I can find out there. Pretty cool. Uh, so aside from the Texas uh, Texas earthquakes, we got a little bit of movement down here along the San Andreas Fault, just off of the San Andreas Fault here on the North American side this time, uh, just to the east of Indio. Um, I think I pr pronounced that right. Coachella, uh, La Quint Quintana, Quint. Okay, Palm Desert, <laughs> Thousand Palms. That whole area right there. My uh, Spanish is not uh, coming out too good tonight. 3.5, along with a couple smaller quakes striking, uh, like I said, about uh, oh, about seven miles there east of Indio region in Southern California. Of course, the uh, infamous plate boundary there, the San Andreas Fault sits right there. That is, uh, well, right around the locked section, the southern part, the southern branch of the San Andreas Fault. Some further movement uh, down here to the south, right smack dab on the uh, Imperial Fault and also the Brawley Seismic Zone, which is an extensional fault of the San Andreas uh, system here. No, uh, no major swarming, just some sporadic microquake activity in the region. Some further movement along the San Jacinto Fault area, just some microquakes and a little bit uh, further north there, looks like near Little Rock, not Little Rock, Arkansas, but Little Rock, California. <clears throat> I was in Little Rock here last week. Uh, let's see what else we got here. A little bit of further movement up here along the creeping section of the San Andreas Fault near Soledad. This is typical earthquake activity along this uh, stretch here. And uh, yeah, a little bit of movement up here in Nevada as well. You can see this scattered throughout the desert uh, into Reno and Carson City area north of uh, the region into Pyramid Lake. A little bit of further movement around Mount Lassen in Northern California. This is just some microquake activity, but uh, activity nonetheless, 1.1, uh, right smack dab within the vicinity of Mount Lassen. Uh, volcanoes to the north, pretty quiet. I don't see any registered information uh, on the quakes there from uh, the USGS. A little bit of further movement in Idaho that we discussed earlier. They also had that 3.9 out there in Wyoming that kind of shook things up. Not uh, not close to Yellowstone, it's a ways away, uh, right around the Bighorn Mountains area, and uh, also the Owl Creek Mountains here, kind of, kind of in that little corner. 
There has been a little bit of activity in the Yellowstone region, but nothing uh, to get excited about. In fact, there's that 3.9 that popped up there in uh, central Wyoming, showing up pretty nicely in the uh, seismographs of the Yellowstone overview here. Uh, aside from that, I haven't seen any increase in swarming, no earthquake activity or magma movement to report here in Yellowstone National Park. All looks good, according to the live seismographs there on the uh, on uh, this webpage here, which is pretty cool to check out. Uh, what else we got here, folks? Moving around the world up here to Alaska, just seeing your typical earthquake activity along the Aleutian Islands and into uh, the Anchorage area. We have seen a little bit of up uptick over here around Japan. This 4.4 uh, kind of struck there a little bit ago. And also a 4.6 uh, off the coast of Russia. Kind of a little uptick in activity here um, along the western Pacific here. Indonesia, Philippines area. Looking at a uh, little moderate size uh, quake activity going on in the Indonesia area. Things are somewhat quieting down here along the Fiji area. Although that uh, 4.6 is rather deep, 535 kilometers there, just, just off the coast there of Fiji. New Zealand, uh, I think we talked about that one a little bit earlier. A little deep earthquake movement there along the uh, uh, subduction area, 4.3 at 268 kilometers. Trimmer map shows uh, about 147 epicenters still within this region of southern Oregon. Now this is uh, updated. This is not from yesterday, this is from today's movement. So a little bit of activity continuing in the Cascadia subduction zone, down dip, downstream uh, of the North American continent right there. Uh, what else we got, folks? Solar weather is pretty darn quiet. Wait a minute, we did have that uh, earthquake over in, uh, hold on a second here, let me see if I can find that. Right around the Greece area, I can't believe I forgot that. Not a major earthquake, but a 5.4, 7.9 kilometers below surface, striking out there in the Sea of Crete. Other than that, we haven't really seen any major movement, but uh, just kind of a little, little moderate-sized quake shaking things up out there. And uh, of course, historical seismic activity shows that uh, massive amount of earthquakes there um, throughout uh, since about 1900. So a very seismically active region of the world. Uh, let's see, I think that was about it here for the uh, this region of the world. Couple earthquakes throughout the Middle East, nothing big. Um, other than that, uh, things are pretty uh, uh, pretty average for now. Except for up here. We're still waiting for some further large-scale movement up here. Uh, and we just haven't seen it. Uh, solar weather, as I mentioned, is pretty darn quiet. There's not a whole lot going on in that department. Uh, no major sunspots to report. Uh, looks like coronal hole down here to the south, uh, possibly facing the earth side here pretty soon. There's that little sunspot, a little coronal hole 45 facing us, and also a little one up to the north. Uh, not for sure if these guys are going to issue any type of solar storm watch uh, for the next couple days. Uh, just looks very minimal. Uh, newly assigned active region 2814 continues to slowly develop. Uh, that is a sunspot right there. Uh, the region size is r roughly equivalent to four, er four planet Earths across. There is currently a chance for an isolated minor sea flare. whoop de doo right? That is not anything exciting. Uh, once the sun decides to light up and shoot off massive solar flares in the, uh, in, the, uh, in the large range, you know, the M flares and potentially X flares, then I will be getting excited. But for now, pretty minimal. All right, folks, we're going to jump off here. I hope everyone has a, uh, a good evening and uh, stay safe out there. Have a good night. We'll chat you guys uh, sometime tomorrow. Peace out.